Let's discuss the conflict in Ukraine with Toby Vogel. He's a political analyst and joins us from the Belgian capital, Brussels. Uh, Toby, thank you for joining us on TRT World. Now, just a short while ago, we got some comments from Hungary's leader, Viktor Orban. He said he cannot accept EU oil sanctions in its current form, but he doesn't want conflict with the EU. He wants to work with them. But he also said that sanctions have caused bigger problems for Europe than for Russia. What do you make of his statement? Well, Hungary has been a difficult uh, case in terms of sanctions uh, for, for a while now. Um, we are discussing now the sixth sa EU sanctions package against Russia uh, since the invasion, the, the, the current invasion of, uh, of Ukraine. And Hungary has uh, exerted pressure before and has demanded concessions before and has usually received them. Now, this is a slightly different case because Hungary is clearly not alone. Um, there are other countries that are worried about uh, oil supplies because they're they're largely dependent or entirely dependent currently on Russian um, on Russian oil on Russian crude, um, and so what they're asking, and this is specifically Slovakia and Hungary, is to have a longer period during which they will still be allowed to import Russian oil. Uh, so that's the sort of technical side. On the political side, of course. Viktor Orban is, is, is Vladimir Putin's closest ally inside the European Union. And he is, uh, he is trying really to walk the tightrope here. Um, on the one hand, being a, 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 a constructive, if you will, member of the European Union to some extent, while also preserving its own interests, as well as pushing in a direction that might leave some uh, some lines of communications open with the Kremlin. Mm -hmm. uh, Hungary is also uh, building or has built a, uh, a nuclear power plant that it plans to expand. Hungary's foreign minister just, I believe, yesterday or the day before, met uh, the chairman of Rosatom, the, the Russian energy firm that built this plant. So there's, there's clearly a level of... Uh, of cooperation still going on between Hungary and Russia that uh, is quite unique within the EU. Well, Toby, many analysts and Moscow itself had said that it had, if I'm putting it very succinctly, just saved up for this conflict and the sanctions that it knew would be coming. So how much of an impact are the sanctions having on Russia? That's actually quite difficult to say at the moment, not least because we, we don't really have reliable, you know, statistics uh, from inside Russia. Now, Europe tends to be the largest client collectively of, of Russian energy, um, as well as um, individual member states, in particular Germany, on gas, on oil, and so on. Um, so I imagine this will have a, a fairly major impact um, on, on, on Russian uh, revenue. What's also very important to understand is that the EU is now going not only after Russian exports to the EU, it is also trying to prevent EU ships from shipping Russian oil to other places such as China or India. Um, there is also resistance within the EU against this idea, uh, particularly from Greece, which is making a lot of money from this. Um, so this is another this is another area, and the third area I'd say are the um, the services firm that firms that mm -hmm. help the Western firms that help Russia maintain its uh, its oil and gas production, oil in particular. So all of these things on all these fronts, Russia's ability to produce oil and to export it and to bring it to market is being degraded, and that that is is inevitably going mm -hmm. to have a, a, a massive impact. So, Toby, since this war started, Vladimir Putin has been forced to, to change course, change his goals. U.S. and U.K. intelligence saying he hasn't achieved what he wanted. But there are also concerns that come 9th May, it's marked as Victory Day in Russia, Putin is going to declare a full-on assault on Ukraine. Do you think this could happen? I think that's largely uh, that's largely uh, symbolic because Russia has tried uh, a full on assault on Ukraine and it failed. It is now concentrating its 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 assault on the east of the country, the southeast. Um, we, we've seen just a dramatic picture from pictures from Mariupol. Uh, there's others other cities along that front uh, that are now under heavy assault. Um, 
So what he says on May 9th, I think, is probably largely for domestic consumption in Russia. I don't think this will give us any clearer idea of what the Russian strategy uh, is than, than what we've seen on the battlefield over the last mm -hmm. few days and weeks. Toby Vogel, really appreciate your analysis speaking to us there from Brussels.